Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name is Dan Jagede and this is week three of uh, our project flip. Um, a lot has happened in the past one week that uh, I showed you the videos of uh, what was going on. Um, within the past one week, so today is Saturday, uh, I couldn't make it to come here on Friday like I promised. So, in the past one week, uh, a lot has been going on there. The kitchen has been fixed, the living room, the extra bathroom has been added. So, Come in, follow me, let me show you what the updates look like right now and you can see what is going on with the project. Alright, so today I have with me uh, my baby boy Ayo. He's hanging out with uh, daddy and mommy today and my wife is behind the camera in case you're wondering who is always helping with the recording. Alright, so this is it. Uh, the living room, actually if you noticed uh, on week two, they move the AC heater vent from the middle to the back here. The idea is we're going to put the ceiling fan and the lightning right here. So there's a hole right here that is already uh, uh, just blocked out. Uh, if you notice, the painting is going on. The windows have also been, some windows have been fixed. The living room window is not fixed yet. So we've done the first painting uh, coats. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what this place is going to look like. This is where we're going to have uh, like, a, like a shelf. To make it look like you know, you want to put your books, your artwork, some paintings, something to just make the living room more uh, colorful. So it's going to be uh, added here. Um, I mentioned this the last time. We're going to have the two by two to make this place transparent and have a little bit of, uh, of uh, beauty to it. All right. Um, a lot is going on in the kitchen area. I'll take you there. But before that, let me show you the uh, this first bedroom. Before I go to the master, where a lot of changes have gone uh, within the past one week. So let's go to the second room. Alright, so this is the second bed. Remember, we are in a uh, two bedroom. So the house was bought as a two bedroom, one bath, but we've done a good job of making it a two bedroom, two bath. I'll tell you all the little changes we've made. Right. One quick thing in the second bedroom is the, the windows. So the windows, we've changed the windows. If you look at this window, this was the window that came with the property. This property was bought in, uh, it was built in 1941. So now, we are bringing it to the new windows, that is uh, the modern one. So this is the other window that has been upgraded. The last window over there is going to be changed uh, probably later this week, uh, next week. And uh, this is the closet. All we had to do was here was just the painting, uh, you know, uh, make it look nice, and then uh, the bar for arranging our clothes. So, and also the room, uh, this room has been painted. Yeah, as you can see, you know, I think this is the first, yeah, this is the first painting, you know, in this room. So what is really going on here, I think this is probably the first room that's going to be ready. Um, I want to show the painting. So the painting is done, the electrical work is currently going on. You can see from the holes right there. So the electrical work is going on and I'm right there behind you. Uh, so this room is definitely big enough. I think that this is a uh, good size room. I can't remember the size of the room. I, I want to check again. But this is good enough for a second. All right, let me show you what is going on in the original, the original bath that uh, came with this house and what we've done right here. Um, the original bath, A little update is uh, last week we had the toilet sink that was placed here that has been taken out. I'll show you right there. It's still in the living room. The painting, a little bit of touch up has been done. There's going to be a sink right here. There used to be a wall here if you remember very well. If you don't remember, check out uh, the uh, week one or week two updates. We're going to put a, uh, a mirror here just to make it look good. So if you're brushing your teeth, you can check the mirror, see how good you look. Uh, the painting is going on. And also right here, but right here, there used to be like an AC unit that has been taken out. So we're going to block this out. We don't need this because the AC is going to be a central one right now. If you look up there, we just uh, installed that. So that is where the AC unit is going to be coming uh, from. AC heater. Now, I showed you the bathroom last week. This was one of the few things that it started with. The bathroom is done right here. We, we put a new tiles and uh, you know uh, the bathtub right here. So this is already done. Um, maybe in the next one or two weeks you see what everything looks like. At the end of the video, I'll tell you how many more weeks we have and what is coming up next week. So uh, let's get along. Follow me. 
All right, this is the master bedroom. The master bedroom is way bigger than uh, the first uh, bedroom we went to. Um, few updates that have gone up. There used to be a door here when we bought this property. Um, three, four weeks ago, I think now. So this place was blocked out. Uh, rather, you know, rather we you know open it up from the door, break the door loose, put it, uh, block it up. This wall used to be like this, but because remember this house was built in 1941, it's hard to find the right material that will match what is right here. So what we did was rather than just making it look different. Literally, we blocked it out, we just painted everything to make it look the same. So, we like this, but it's hard to find, it's really hard to find this type of material. This was this is 1941 material, so it's hard to come back. And I like the, the you know, the little squares that we have right here, so it really adds a lot of beauty to it. So, um, moving forward, we also fixed the windows. So, if you notice, the windows have been fixed. So window one, window two, window three in uh, the uh, master um, bedroom. And uh, this also leads outside. Um, I think um, I've shown you this. So this goes all the way out. We are going to definitely change the door or paint it. Um, and it goes to the, uh, the trash. Uh, quickly, let me show you the trash from here. You can see me down show you from the back. So this is where everything goes out there. This is the second trash. Uh, you can imagine when you are doing rehab, we're probably going to go through the dumpster three times. Yeah, the first one was full, it was trashed away. This is the second one, almost done. Next week, we'll be doing the roof. So, this is going to be full, and we're going to trash it all over again. All right, so one of the biggest things we did, and uh, it's adding an extra bathroom to this place. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Uh, let me show you the bathroom. I'll show you some of the mistakes we made and what we can avoid in the future. You know, uh, definitely part of living is you make mistakes, you learn from it, you grow, and you get along. So, um, this place, uh, let me show you. When we bought this property, this was the closest right here. The closest was just all the way to where I am. Uh, if you believe it, this was the picture. If you check out the week one or week two or some of the pictures, you will see. But what we did was, right where I'm standing right now, we used to have the water heater. It's very tall. So the water heater, we decided to move it up to the attic. Um, I'm not going to show you the attic. I don't want to climb with, with the camera. So we moved the water heater up, open up the space. There used to be a wall right here. As you can see, there's a lot of work going on. There used to be a wall right here. So the heater was moved up to the attic. This place was busted open. Then you will see what happened on the other side. I'll show you. Then, if you remember very well, that was the green room in our week one video, or maybe when we started the project. Um, this right here, we turned the green room into a bathroom. So this is the second part. This is going to be a standing shower. This is where the uh, toilet sink is going to be. And this is where you be able to brush your, your teeth and uh, you know wash your hand. The wash hand basin is going to be here. So we're able to like uh, create this wall. This wall wasn't here before, so we created this wall, created all these things fresh, and this helps us to add value to the property now. And also we added this wall. Here is the catch. When we were working with the contractor, at, uh, the original contractor quote was 3000 and uh, we did not have a plan to turn this into a second bathroom. But by the time we get to week 2, and contractor already bought all the materials and everything, and we made the change, you know, in our project management, you call it scope creep. So <laughs> we changed our scope, we added this, that actually cost us extra $4,500. Um, if we had done this earlier, or if we had known that we wanted to add this bathroom, guess what? We probably would have paid $33,000 or maybe $35,000. Now, because of that, the project went further. And uh, if that was, that made it $37,500. So this extra bathroom adds, you know, to our, our project cost, the real cost. He added 4,500 to the project cost. So let's go to the other side. I'll show you the kitchen, then I'll show you uh, what cost us another big, uh, uh, really, you know, made us spend more money you know, in uh, in this uh, way of work. So uh, stay with me, and uh, let's go along. All right. So this right here is the um, dining area. Um, when we when, when we bought it, like I said, there used to be a door here. There used to be a wall right here. We will change the window right here. The window is going to be changed to make it look good. Um, also, we, were, uh, we added the island. This is the kitchen area. This island wasn't here. 
Uh, last week there was no island here, there was just some wood. So this island is where we are going to have the uh, electric cooktop, we have the uh, um, space for the cabinets at the bottom. Also, we took out the old school um, cooktop oven. So the dishwasher is going to be right here. So as you can see, this place is already painted, which is still the fourth uh, painting. Also, we added the granite. Last week there was no granite here, so granite has been added this week to make it look better. And also you can see, well you cannot smell it, but I can smell all the fresh painting. You can smell, I can, I can smell the fresh paint. Yeah, you know, this is a, the house job is a grayish, and uh, all this uh, is already been worked on. The granite, uh, I don't want to open it too much, but you can see what the granite looks like. So this is a uh, brand new granite that has been added to the house and also right here in uh, the uh, countertop area. Um, the painting is getting done. Uh, also, this is where the fridge is going to be. So you will see uh, this is the area for the uh, fridge. This is the connection for the ice maker right at the bottom right there. If you remember from the last video or last two videos, uh, this used to be a space where you have the pantry. At the back right here, is where you have the uh, water heater that I was talking about. So this wall wasn't here. We created this wall after we took the water heater up there. Now this is where you are going to have the um, double decker washer and dryer. So the washer and dryer is going to be right here, up and down. This wall wasn't here before. Remember the green room? You could walk in from the kitchen right into the green room. But now we created the wall. The green room has turned right into the uh, the master baths. So there's no more green room. We use that space for the bathroom, which is going to help us to add value to the property. So at the end of the day, the extra 4,005 that we added, uh, that we used to do the uh, the bathroom, it's probably going to add maybe 10, 15,000 to the value of the house, which is a good deal. Like it's almost tripling the value, but I wish we'd, we've, we've made the correction before now. All right. Let me show you this. This is huge. Remember I told you this house was built in 1941. This electrical unit is a 1941 model. Uh, we knew it was going to cost us some money. We didn't just know what the cost was until we got a licensed electrician to come and check it out. Uh, after the electrician checked it out along with the gas unit, he sent us back $11,000. So we have a, a, a licensed electrician come around last week and they started the uh, electrical work. Uh, so all those you see right now is gonna be replaced with the updated uh, electrical circuit box that is going to be able to pass inspection. Uh, let me show you this. This is one of the things the electrical guy already did within the past one week. Remember, I, um, I, I think I mentioned last week that the house was uh, not grounded. So this is the ground. Uh, the electrical guy came uh, last week, he came uh, this, with that just passed, did all the electrical. This is a new box, this is a new meter. All this cabling you see right now, everything is new. So that is where the, uh, the for the electrical and the gas, that's 11,000. So when you add that to the budget right now, uh, we knew this was gonna come, we didn't just know how much it was. So we already uh, expected it. So with the gas, the electrical, and also the uh, contractor coat, everything is like 48,500. So um, let's just say 50,000. So I think uh, that is probably gonna be the final cost of fixing or renovating the property at the end of the day. So we are still within budget, you know, things are still looking good. So I'm really excited for that. Before we go, let me show you the garage. The garage door has been fixed. Last week there was no, it was the old school garage door. So this is the garage door. The garage door, this is a new one. It was just fixed this week. Uh, I don't wanna pull it down. Um, once next week, I think we're going to fix uh, the uh, electrical unit that you can use to do the open and close for the garage. So that should probably be good. Then they will start fixing the garage, put the sheet rock, do the painting and everything else in between. That's about it right now for what was done in one week. If you have any uh, comments, I welcome. Let me know your feedback. I'll be happy to you know learn. Uh, if you think there's something I need to add, that is missing, please let me know. I'll be happy to uh, listen to the professional people that have done it uh, ahead of me. Next week, um, we're gonna be doing the roof. The roof is a big deal next week. We need to get the roof going. And also, we are going to be doing the floor. 
So I'm, I might not be able to come around uh, next week, uh, depending on when the floor is done. I think the floor will, will start on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So all the flooring will be done. And uh, if I have time, I'll come on Friday or Saturday to uh, get the updates uh, for the week. Um, I think that's about it right now. I'm really excited. I think things are moving very well. The extra bathroom actually made us add uh, one or two more weeks to the project. So in all, I think we have three more weeks to go before the project is finally ready you know, uh, to hit the market. So give or take, we're looking like a middle match. We should be ready to put the uh, uh, project, to put the house up for sale. Remember, this house is 1941. We are trying to bring it up to standard to make it a 2024 house. And uh, at the end of the day, I will let you know, you know, the numbers, uh, the, I think, yeah, I, I can tell you now, the purchase price was uh, 195 with closing. We can just say 200,000, it was exactly 197. Uh, then uh, uh, fixing it is like 50,000. I'm just approximating everything. So when you look at it, the buying and the fixing and the rehab, everything is like 250,000. So uh, we'll see how it goes. By the time we get to the end of the project, I'll let you know what uh, it's gonna look like when it comes to the selling point, uh, the, the sales price, uh, what the market dictates. We look, we look at the comps in the environment, you know, in the Fort Worth area, then we'll see where we go from there. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy my guest today. Ayo, say bye. Bye. Bye everybody, have a good one. See you next week.